Hello, this is John Calvert, and this short tutorial will explain how to attach sound to an object in Notebook. Now, Notebook accepts the following formats. You can use an audio interchange format, or a .aif, or .aiff if you've got a Mac format. Uh, it also takes the standard MP3 file, which is nice, and WAV files and Window Media's files. So those are the uh, sound files that you can use in Smart Notebook. If you got one of those, you're in good shape. Now what I did was I actually took a sound file of applause from SoundSnap.com. SoundSnap is a really great place to find open source, free, royalty-free sounds of high quality. And they sort them very nicely for you, and they even provide uh, some rating uh, function, so you can look, you can sort sounds by number of downloads or popularity, all of those things. Like anything else, though, I probably wouldn't use this directly with students. Use it for students, because there are some things like bodily functions, for instance, that you might not find appropriate in the classroom. Okay, so back to notebook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a, one of these buttons that I pulled from the Lesson Activity Toolkit, the Graphics folder there. And when I select it, I notice I've got that down pointing arrow. Of course, I'm going to click that because everything you can do to an object can be found in that menu. And I'm going to go down to Sound. So once I click Sound, I get this Insert Sound dialog box that comes up. The first thing I'm going to do is select Browse. and I saved that file, my applause file, to the desktop. So this enthusiastic concert audience, and I'll open that up. Now, once you find your sound, you have to dis determine how you want that sound to behave on the object. If I choose corner I icon, this little speaker in the corner is uh, shown on the, on the button. Now, that little speaker probably isn't good enough uh, for you. I, I like having the whole button work as the uh, trigger. So I'm going to select that again and go back to sound and change it from corner icon to object. Now, when I click that button, it'll play the audience. There we go. Perfect. So that is adding sound to a notebook object. I used sound source. Uh, I use SoundSnap to, to find my audio file, but you could have just as easily recorded it yourself in Audacity. So if you'd like to look at the Audacity tutorials, you can find those on the wiki as well. Thank you very much. Have fun making those multimodal power, uh, smart notebook files.